What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to another episode of Ben Builds with Joe. We are back on the lag three. This is build day number nine, and today I'm hoping to go ahead and move forward with paint. Now, for paint, we have a really nice set of Vallejo Early War Russian Aircraft Camo Paints. It's a whole set. It comes with a ton of different colors. I'm really excited to go ahead and try this out on this particular build. I've dabbled in them a little bit for one of my aircraft from the 12 Sprues. I love how the paint's gone down. So this one should be pretty easy to do as well. I'm going to go ahead and use some NATO Black to appreciate this. And that should be sufficient enough. I'm nowhere near professional here when it comes to marbling, but I want to try a marbling coat as well. Now the instructions want us to go ahead and end up painting this particular aircraft. This is White 78, about 1942. It's got that giant black arrow there, as you can see on the front of the aircraft. That's going to be really, really hard with this kit because ICM's decals, they're not reliable enough to really say that I can 100% use those decals. We might actually have to end up painting the markings. But that's going to be something we need to go ahead and decide because we can either do a black and red arrow like we have here on the box, or we can change it up and backdate it a little bit and do a red arrow. So there's a couple options here we have. But regardless, we're going to go ahead and focus today on the basic painting. So we're going to start out with some pre-shade. We have to get that camel pattern down before we can even think about painting any sort of arrows or markings onto our aircraft. That's going to be our primary goal. Now the aircraft is mostly prepared. We're going to go ahead and jump into a time lapse. I'm going to go ahead and pre-shade all the different areas that I can. We don't have a lot of panel lines on this aircraft because, well, it was mostly made of wood, so it's pretty smooth. We do have some transitions here and there. So let's go ahead and hit that time lapse, guys, see what we can do. everybody we are back with our pre-shaded lag three and i went a little crazy with the different marbling coats just kind of went nuts with the squiggling patterns and i don't know we'll see what it looks like in the end i probably should have come back and done a little bit of lighter colors like maybe white or maybe a light gray or something i don't know i'm all new to this anyway and i'm really trying to figure out what works best and well we're just going to try it out now we actually have to install a couple of the little fidgety parts. We have the rear section of the radiator and the rear section of the oil cooler to install and we have to clean those up because there's some large ejector pin marks. Just a couple of swipes of the jeweler file, we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and clean that up and we'll install them. We also have to work on the rear tail wheel section because there is an insert we need to go ahead and stick in there and that's gonna require us to kind of clean up some of the areas and we'll glue this down. The tail wheel on this particular series of lag doesn't actually fold up. So there's no doors, there's nothing, there's just this fairing that we need to go ahead and glue in place. Not that bad. Doesn't fit all that great though. We're going to have to do a little bit of clever working here. We might have to come back and do a little sanding, but that's okay. It's actually not that bad as some other of the fit issues we've had here with the lag. So let's just keep moving on, get this in and see how it looks. We'll adjust as necessary. Moving right along guys, we're going to have to go ahead and build up the propellers. Now, I need to go ahead and clean up a lot of these parts. They had a lot of seam lines with some flash, so that's all taken care of. I've used my X-Acto knife, and I'm just kind of scraping off those seams and scraping off the flash, and I think we're looking pretty decent. We're going to have to do a little bit more cleanup, though, and once this is good, we'll sand it down and get it ready for paint. One last thing I wanted to do here before I get into paint is I want to drill out the exhausts here on the lag. I'm going to be using my X-Acto knife. We're just going to open up that end because it just looks a lot better to have a little bit of an impression as if it's actually hollow. When I get this all finished up, we're going to jump into paint. I'm going to cut to a time lapse real quick and we're going to go ahead and get the camo pattern finished using our Vallejo colors. Keep your fingers crossed. This should be a lot of fun and we'll see how my appreciating went. Let's just jump in, see what we can do.
right, everybody, we are back. I have a fully painted Lag 3. I got to tell you, it's a neat looking aircraft. I really like that Vallejo paint. Now, I did do a little bit of a lightning coat on each of the black areas and just to give them a bit more color variation. You do see some of the color variation that I did with the pre-shade through the green, so that's nice, but I might end up losing most of that detail under the gloss coat. I know that happens sometimes, but we'll have to see. We'll see how it works. But I think we are pretty good for today to go ahead and call it quits. Next episode, I'm going to have to go ahead and figure out what to do for those markings. I think no matter what we decide to do, those decals are just going to be some trouble. So luckily, I do have another set of markings, and I have a full stencil set that came with the kit. So I think I'm going to be okay in terms of decals. But we need to figure out what to do with that arrow. I think, honestly, the paint turned out decently enough. I have to recommend, if you guys like Russian aircraft and early war Russian aircraft, go check out the Vallejo paint set for early war Russian aircraft. It actually is a really nice set of paint. It gives you everything you need for all the different colors that you'd have for early war Russian aircraft. And I think this looks pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and call it quits for today, guys. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm sorry it's taken so long. It has really been fighting back. Both Joe and I can attest to that. But until then, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here on episode number 10 for the ICM Lag 3. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon.